You guys tell me if uh, mm. you recognize this guy. Hi. <laughs> he actually found the practice jersey that he wore last year. <laughs> which, that's cool. I'll know which one he is on the field. So, there you go. For Are you ready for some football? Yeah. I don't own the copyrights to that. Uh, can itch my head. Uh. You, got, you got a hole right here, too. Oh, okay. Yay, access to your brainiac. Why is that all fuzzy looking? Getting some glare. Watch this. Watch me hit him as hard as I can. I'm just kidding. I don't do that on camera. Mm. Well, kids, there you go. Football in Hezzy. What do you think, Mommy? You excited? Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Well, and he's on with a friend from school. Yeah, one of the kids that, that he was really in the. That he was yeah, on the he team. gave the yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, we saw him in line getting gear. It's the kid that was in the uh, spelling bee. He's the fourth grader that actually won the overall spelling bee. Marshall was the uh, winning third grader, beat, you know, kindergarten through third grade. And this kid, Race, and it was fourth through eighth, right? Was it the no, fourth through sixth? Oh, but anyway, it's a fourth grader beat, beat everybody else. Yep beat everybody um kindergarten through sixth grade and it's right and he was standing there in line and he's like marshall you on the lions yes so pfft, swell so now he has somebody from his school because i recognize his mom yeah so yeah somebody from his school plus kai, kai from, from last, last year, year. Coach which Jason's is coach's son. son no we're so excited that we're with coach jason though yeah and that coach i think he's a good coach i remember him from last year i wonder if he moved up as well i don't know does he look familiar? But anyway, it's uh, about to be a whole bunch of football practice Thank vlogging. You. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. Come along. And yes, it's hot and humid. Oh my Trying something new, kids, for the first time ever. Um, roasted cauliflower. I've been hearing all about it. My dad, my best friend's mom, other people telling me that roasted is the way to go. So I've seasoned it up, salt, pepper, garlic powder, smoked paprika, olive oil. In my favorite potato roasting pan on the grill. You'll see how it turns out. You always do, don't you? Still a little bit of a residual sunset going on. Whew. Boys and girls, I gotta tell you, they really just don't get any better than they do out here. I've been places I've seen good ones. I mean, I, you know, the Florida Keys, the Gulf of Mexico, in Mexico, um, the Sea of Cortez in Mexico. That's what my screensaver is at work. But uh, the sun sets out here. They don't compare. I'll miss it. I'll, I'll miss that. Eventually, hopefully, right? <laughs> I got a question for you. If you uh, lived next door to somebody that talked to themselves all the time or what seemed like they were talking to themselves all the time, because, you know, there's nobody out here, it's dark, and, yeah. Would you think they were weird? Pretty sure my neighbors think I'm weird. But you know what? I've been doing this for a year. Almost a year. You guys know that? Do you remember? Somebody post in the comments and when I say post in the comments I mean right down there where it says post a comment post a comment tell me and don't cheat don't cheat go back and tell me what you think the original post date of my first vlog was for some of you the true interwebs with two B's Y'all should guess that easy. My first post date. Any hoozle. I think my new favorite vegetable might be roasted cauliflower. Holy shamoli. It really, really is spectacular. Deliciously wonderful, good. Toasty. Not bitter, sweet. Not bitter. It is sweet. It's amazing. It's good. I'm excited. I can't wait to show you guys the rest. I hope mommy comes out with the uh, mahi soon because her oil's at smoke point. And we're doing the uh, cast iron skillet on the grill. Because we're trying to use the oven inside. We're trying to use everything inside. The actual, the AC unit is actually on right now. Hasn't been for a long, long time. 
We've cranked the house up to 80, and it still feels cool in there. Our electric bill's out of control. Out of control. Don't buy a bigger house. Buy a cellar and move inside. Can I put a light on the other side? <laughs> Blackened. You can't see me. Blackened mahi. Fresh frozen. You may think that's a contradiction in terms, but it's not. It's wild caught American. And I mean, how long do you think these guys are out there catching these fish? Two, three, four, eight, ten, twelve, thirty days. Or you think they're kept keeping it warm in the, you know, sink? It's all frozen. All fish is frozen. One of the biggest things I can instill in you guys, anybody that's watching these videos, which is you guys, you guys, buy local as much as you can. Buy American at the least. Buy wild caught, not farm raised. And don't buy Indonesian, Scandinavian. All right, I might be getting out of sorts here. I don't want to cut other people off, other countries off from their welfare, what I'm saying. But if you can, if you are American, buy American. If you're Scandinavian, buy Scandinavian. If you're Indonesian, buy Indonesian. What I'm trying to say is buy local. Buy local. Support your local fisher people. They need it. It's their livelihood. And it's fresher. It's generally, hopefully, cleaner. Less processed. Buy local. Regardless of where you are. Buy local. This is Wild Caught USA. I'm wild and I'm in the USA. There it is, kids. Doesn't even look like cauliflower, does it? No, it does. Tastes mm. delicious. Mommy made aioli and her cucumber salad and blackened the mahi and it's on. Everybody, on, mm -hmm. on. on. And now this is off.